If I take question number 21, a rings roll down an inclined plane, acquire a velocity v in inclined plane, acquire a velocity v, okay. Upon reaching the bottom of the inclined plane, if the another body rolls down from the same height over the same inclined plane, same inclination, same height, same inclined plane, acquire a velocity root 6 upon 5 v upon reaching the bottom of the inclined plane, then that body is. So, I need to calculate the nature of body. And we know that in this type of situation, velocity can be calculated by 2 g h upon 1 plus k square by r square. According to the question, because height will remain same, so we can take 2g h as a constant and we can make a relation v into 1 plus k square upon r square is equal to constant. So, I will make a relation b1 for first situation 1 plus k square upon r square and v2 for the second situation 1 plus k square upon r square because if you will calculate the value of k square upon r square, then this value will decide the nature of body. So, according to the problem v1 is v and first body is a ring. So, you know the value of k square upon r square for the ring is 1. So, we will get only root 2 and v2 is as per the question root 6 upon 5 into v. 1 plus k square upon r square, v and v will cancel out. So, now we are going to solve this expression. So, take a cross multiplication, we will get 10 upon 6 on the left hand side and 1 plus k square upon r square with the root on the right hand side. If I take a square on both sides, we will get 10 upon 6 minus 1 that is equal k square upon r square. So, that will give you 10 minus 6 upon 6 k square upon r square. So, we will get 4 upon 6 so that is 2 by 3 k square upon r square and this value will indicate the nature of body will be hollow sphere because k square upon r square for hollow sphere is 2 by 3. So, my option number is correct. Let us move on question number 22. In the question number 22, a thin ring of mass m and radius r is in pure rolling over a horizontal surface. If v naught is the velocity of the center of mass of the ring, then the angular momentum of the ring about the point of contact. Suppose this is the ring and I need to calculate angular momentum. So, that is given by I omega. So, first I will calculate the moment of inertia about the point of contact. So, this point of contact will play the role of tangent and you know the moment of inertia about tangent which parallel to the center of mass. I mean to say I am going to calculate the moment of inertia in the case of tangential or tangent by using parallel axis theorem. So, I t, t tangent mein le raho point of contact ki wajay se. Ye point of contact hai perpendicularly hooga aur ye axis, geometrical axis ke parallel hoogi. To will write ICM plus MD square. ICM of the ring is MR square. Mass is M, D is R because separation between these two axes is r. So, we will get 2 m r square. This is the moment of inertia. So, I will place the value of this i in equation number 1, 2 m r square. Next, because this case is for pure rolling and in the case of pure rolling, we will make a relation v is equal to r omega, where v is the velocity of the center of mass. So, if I replace the value of omega in terms of velocity of center of mass, we will write v by r, but as per the question, this velocity is given by v naught. So, we will write v naught here, r, r will cancel out. 
and we will find 2m b not r. This is the final value of angular momentum about the point of contact. So, we can say my option number 3 is correct. So, let us move on question number 23. If I go for question number 23, a 16 kg block is attached to cord that wrapped around the rim. Flywheel of diameter 0.4 meter and hangs vertically as shown in the figure. The rotational inertia of the flywheel is 0.5 kg meter square. When the block is released and caught unwinds the acceleration of the block. And this is the example of combined motion for translatory and rotational. And we know that if I want to calculate the acceleration, then formula for the acceleration is mg upon m plus i upon r square. We all know this formula of acceleration because the values are given. So, when I will place the value for mg and m. So, if I place the value of mass m that is 16 kg and g is there mass is 16, but the moment of inertia of the flywheel is as per the question is 0.5 and radius r because diameter is 0.4 so radius will be 0.2 with the square. So, on solving we will get 0 0.56 g and this is the acceleration. When block is released then acceleration of the block is 0 0.56 g. So, we can say my option number 3 is correct. So, let us move on question number 24. If I go for question number 24, the ring is rolling without slipping. So, this is the case of your rolling. The ratio of translational kinetic energy to the rotational kinetic energy is translational kinetic energy is half m v square and rotational kinetic energy half m v square k square upon r square. But body is ring and half m v square half m v square will cancel out. In the case of ring the value of k square upon r square is 1. So, we can say so my option number 4 is correct. And let us move on question number 25. If I go for question number 25, a pulley with a radius 3 centimeter rotational inertia. So, this is the pulley and moment of inertia is given suspended from a ceiling a roof passes over it with a 2 kg block attached to one end and 4 kg block attached to other end. So, if I take this is 2 kg and this is 4 kg block. The roof does not slip on the pulley at any instant after the block start moving the object with the greatest kinetic energy. So, I need to calculate the greatest kinetic energy. If I consider V is the speed of blocks at any instant and angular velocity of the pulley is omega and V is the speed at any instant. Due to the mass difference, direction of velocities are this. If I consider this is m1 and this is m2, right? So, if I go for the kinetic energy of m1 and m2, so k1 for m1, m1 means 2 kg. So, we will write 1 by 2 m1 v square as I said, v is the velocity of the blocks at any time. So, 1 by 2 m1 because there is no slipping. So, we can take v is equal to r omega. So, we will write r square omega square, r is the radius of the pulley. Similarly, if I go for k2, so we can write directly 1 by 2 m2 r square omega square. Similarly, if I go for the pulley, so that is given by half i omega square. But I need to compare the kinetic energy. Pulley ka zada hai ya block ka zada hai. To iske liye main solve karunga m1 r square ko. 
value of m1 is 2 into radius is 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 with the square. So, we will get 18 because square of 3 is 9. So, 18 into 10 to the power minus 4. Similarly, if I go for m2 r square. So, that is 4 into 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 after taking the square of radius. So, that is 36 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, these are the m1 r square, m2 r square. On the similar track, the moment of inertia of the pulley that is given by the question 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, it will convert 45 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, you are saying that m1 r square is 18, m2 r square is 36, but the moment of inertia for the pulley has greatest value 45 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, we can say that the object with the greatest kinetic energy is the pulley. So, my third option will be correct. So, let us move on question number 26. Thank you.